Okay, guys. So um, this is the last um, video in this in this series, really. Um, and what you'll see I've done is I've just added a very quick design just to the top, just to show you what the the final item might look like. I'm not in any way suggesting this is um, the best best quality design, but what it does do is show you what kind of detail the drawing is is required. Um, now, other than the fact that I've changed the color of the translucent uh, acrylic on the top, um, I've not used any skills to create the top of my lamp that I haven't shown you already. So I've just manipulated what I have shown you and um, just used it in a slightly different way. Now the great thing about this drawing is that if I go into that group, excuse me, wrong group, go into that group and I move some of these objects away, what you will see is that I've really considered about how I'm going to manufacture this product and how it's going to stand and work up as a physical object. So in the base you can see I've cut small um, square sections. These are three millimeters by five millimeter and they correspond directly with the kind of pegs on the bottom of each of my um, other organic shapes here. So that's five millimeters wide and of course we all know that the acrylic is three millimeters thick. So you can see there that not only have I considered the aesthetic uh, but I've considered the kind of functional and uh, manufacturing aspects of it as well. Just in the base, you'll see that there are five holes drilled in. Each of those 2.5 millimeter radius, representing um, the, um, the kind of five millimeter diameter um, LEDs that we're using. So I'll just quickly do that there. Um, and there is the design. Obviously, I can. What I can now do is I can take each of those sections and I can explode the drawing. Show what the object would look like if it was oops, excuse me, can be manufactured. So in the past, you would have had to produce a high quality, accurate rendered drawing in isometric, then a high quality, accurate rendered uh, exploded drawing, then a, um, then a panoramic drawing, um, and then um, an orthographic drawing. But you can do all those things now from the one drawing that we have. Um, also. It, with this this program as well, what you can do is just along the top, you've got the different um, different views here. You can have X-ray. You can show hidden fixings and hidden details. You can zoom in. You can take a print screen there. You can show how the object has been manufactured. You can have a, a solid kind of um, white version. And again, you can see how the fixings really work together there. That would really help explain your 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 drawing to somebody else. You've got the solid. Um, and again, you've got the monochrome. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the original final. I'm going to show that on screen. I'm going to show it as a isometric, and now I can add shadows to show what the object would look like if it was actually being used. Okay, guys, I hope that um, helps in some way, um, and that you're able to manufacture uh, so re clearly represent your uh, design intention in the form of three-dimensional CAD file. Good luck, guys.